Today on Household Hacker, we're going to take a wireless mouse and turn it into a power glove. First, we need a wireless mouse. I picked this one up in the bargain bin for about five bucks. Getting started is simple. We just need to remove a few screws on the bottom and then pop it apart, like butter. You'll be greeted with a happy little circuit board. We need this as it's going to be the brain of the operation, but all the plastic can go away. Here you can see where the left and right mouse buttons were connected. A little Phillips head screwdriver should allow you to easily pry them off the board, but do it with some finesse. Because this is a prototype, I'll be using conductive paint to reattach the buttons to the board. I'm just adding some wire in between so we can extend the connection. And now the most important part, the sensor. This is going to send the movement signal back to the computer, so we have to be careful. Pop it off with a screwdriver and place it to the side for safekeeping. Again, I'm going to take some conductive paint, a bit of wire, and connect the chip back to the board. This is going to allow me to place the chip at the base of the glove while the circuit board will be attached to the top of the glove, keeping everything comfortable and functional. All right, looks like everything is snug and secure. Let's move on to the next step. Now that the parts are connected, I'm going to cut a small slit in the glove and fit the sensor into it. I simply slid it inside and then took the magnifier and glued it into place. We want to make sure the movement is picked up perfectly. Now to secure the circuit board. I got some simple fasteners to do the job, but basic Velcro would work as well. Once it was applied, I covered the top in gaffer's tape to protect the board from any mishaps and to further secure the connections. Remember, this is a prototype and we aren't going for beauty. Now that the board's in place, I can add the mouse buttons under the fingers of the glove. They slid right in without much fuss. I then took the wires and connected them back to the circuit board. Let's take a gander at how things look so far. Pretty awesome. Our power glove mouse is nearing completion, and soon after that, world domination. We just need to add the battery. The battery is going to be applied the same way as the circuit board. A little Velcro and then some gaffer tape to hold the positive and negative prongs in place. That's all there is to it. The glove should be powered now. Let's flip it over and make sure that red light is on. Well, it looks like we did it. Power is coursing through the glove and the connections are secure. But how does it perform in a gaming environment? Surprisingly well. I plugged in the wireless connector and loaded up Smite to give it a test run. Having the ability to just slap my hand down on the table and barely move my fingers changed my gaming experience. You almost feel as if you're reaching into the screen itself and the direct feedback is fantastic. Now am I going to use this for spreadsheets and documents? Probably not. But when it comes to gaming or precision photoshopping and design, absolutely. A huge thanks to Sprint for supporting this video. If you want to check out more content, click any button below. We'll see you next time.